Momofuku wasn't the first restaurant to serve Brussels sprouts and country ham. It didn't pioneer the family-style pork shoulder either. Backless chairs and no tablecloths were nothing new. And Chef David Chang's world-famous pork buns? Chang admits he ripped those off too. But when I was trying to nail down the top spot for Bon Appetit's 20 most important restaurants, Momofuku kept coming up again and again. Chang transformed a tiny storefront in New York's East Village into the most influential restaurant brand in America right now. To understand how, you gotta go back to 2004. That's when Momofuku Noodle Bar opened in the East Village. It was all about the ramen, pork buns, and the super casual vibe. Everyone went there, from chefs and industry folks to the East Village hipsters to first wave food nerds. Today, you'll see six-year-olds slurping noodles at the bar. The kitchen still puts out Tokyo-worthy ramen, mounds of pork buns, and perfectly poached eggs. But now you're just as likely to see a table devouring a fried chicken dinner. You would know it today, but Momofuku Sambar almost didn't make it when it opened in 2006. Sambar shared the same design aesthetics as Noodle Bar. Backless chairs, a cramped room, pavement on the stereo, a poster of Momofuku's patron saint on the wall. But here you were eating four-star food. A swarm of baseball cap chefs worked in an open kitchen where ramen gave way to spicy pork sausage and rice cakes, Fuji apple kimchi with jiao bacon, and four types of country ham sliced thin like prosciutto. And of course, more pork buns. It quickly became the most talked about restaurant in all of America. In 2008, if I told you about a 12-seat restaurant that only took reservations online, you'd say that it would never succeed, right? Wrong. That's Momofuku Co. Three-star Michelin dining, David Chang style. If you want to trace the current wave of restaurants with chef's counters, Co. is a great place to start. In 2010, Momofuku expanded its empire, moving uptown and into a hotel. Mapesh was the first indication that Chang had ambitions that went far beyond the East Village. This may have been Midtown, but all the signature Momofuku elements were still in place. Walk in today and you'll see artfully composed dishes, a crudo bar, a large format meal inspired by New York street food, and classic French technique at work. Cereal milk, compost cookies, crack pie, these were the creative appealing to the kid in all of its desserts from Momofuku pastry whiz Christina Tozzi. What started in the back of Sambar is now six locations strong and growing. With all that food, you're going to need something to drink. The year-old Booker and Dax features some of the most cutting-edge cocktails in the country. And yeah, they got pork buns too. The Momofuku Empire, recently expanded to Sydney and Toronto, has changed dining culture for good and for the better. I know it because I see it and I taste it every time I eat out.